Alright guys, the Punisher Max 17 here, and this is to talk about one of my upcoming projects. And this uh, isn't what I typically do. I typically am a Gundam builder. But this is something that I had in my closet and uh, I dug out a little bit ago and thought it would be a little bit of fun to paint. And this, any of you guys not familiar with it, this is from the Zoids line of models. A, uh, a model line that was done in Japan for a very long time and they also uh, did not here in America for a decent amount of time. At least they made them here in America for a longer amount of time than they made Gundams, I believe. And I have a lot of these things from when I was younger. Uh, I collected nearly the entire series of them, I think. Uh, the ones that were released over here. And I thought, you know, I do, I've do. i been doing the airbrushing on Gundams, and I've been doing painting those and all that. And I thought, why not go and do something with these? And I thought it would be a lot of fun. So I figured I'd pull one out that I thought would be cool to do. And this, uh, it's like the Dark Spiner or something, I believe was the name of it. And I thought I could give it a cool little paint scheme, and it'd be fun to fun to restore almost, you know, like I do with some of my other Gundams. So I thought, why not? So I'm bringing it out here now to my new little uh, makeshift model project working uh, area in my garage. And I'm going to get to working on this guy, clean up some of the nubs because they're, they're all over him. You can see really bad ones all through here, right there and stuff. They're all over this thing because I didn't I didn't do much of that cleanup stuff when I was building these when I was younger. So I got a lot a lot of work. Probably not going to be able to do seam lines on them because the pieces clip into both sides of like the inner frame part on the leg, and there's not going to be any way for if I want to paint this and then airbrush this too for me to effectively uh, not get this all covered in the the paint that I paint the armor parts, then I'm not going to be able to do seam line removal, I don't believe. Just because I'm not good that good with masking the pieces off to to protect them from the paint and all that, I'm uh, I'm not that skilled in in uh, in all that stuff. So, but anyway, this is uh, just a little introduction to it. Thought you guys could see it before I do anything, and now I'll go get to work on it. One more thing I was going to say about this model, guys, is that uh, this uses a different kind of plastic than Gundams do. And uh, I just have the leg disassembled right here. And I was thinking about it whenever I was uh, disassembling it, and I figured I'd let you guys know that the plastic on this is very, very soft. Uh, and I'm not 100% sure if it's a good thing or a bad thing yet. I don't know if it'll be bad for the whole modeling aspect of it. But I, I like, uh, looks-wise, I think it's better because it, it's given a very matte finish. Um, I don't know how much you can tell from the video, but the entire kit is very, very matte finished already. And this is just straight out of the box. And, uh, so, and obviously Bandai's isn't like that. It's a very shiny plastic, which personally I don't like. You know, that's the reason why I always uh, airbrush and I flat coat and all that and with this being so soft it's matte but it's also uh, just like I did I was able to do seam line removal on this piece and you can't see it because my camera doesn't autofocus but it uh it just took a little bit of the plastic cement and it melted this stuff a lot and uh you just it was so soft after that that I pushed the pieces together like you do with the seam line removal to get them to to uh weld together meld together whatever word I need there and uh it literally they just kept going and kept going and kept going and at one point I just kind of had to hold them still instead of pressing them together as I do with uh Gundams when I do seam line removal so it is very very pla uh soft plastic Alright, so I've done a little bit of work on this now, and I have the leg detached, as you know, and I had it all separated out in the parts. And for the inner frame, what I did here is I primed it, and I uh, airbrushed it in black, and then I went through and did 
hand brushing details with uh, Citadel bolt gun metal paint as well as uh, Tommy a copper. Here I'll grab the paints. The bolt gun metal right here, this is really good paint for hand brushing guys. Uh, you all should try it out. Amazing stuff. All the Citadel paints are. And then the Tommy of Copper. Uh, I would have used the Citadel paint for the copper, but I don't have anywhere around here that sells them. And uh, I'm not going to be making that trip for a while, so I just went ahead and used this because it works too. But here's the leg, which I really think looks very, very nice. Uh, these, P these kits here... Uh, they're made of very big parts, like this, where my thumb's going around here, is one big part. And I uh, would have used both hands, but I'm holding one of them with the camera with one of them. So, But that's one big part. Uh, this is one piece. The little piston here is one piece. And this is one piece has the other side here. And, uh, yeah, primed them, primer them, airbrushed them black, and then hand brushed these. And I really think it looks nice. Um... I mean, just there's a lot of detail on the pieces. Looks really good, I think. Uh, a lot better than, obviously a lot better than what it started with. And then I've also started airbrushing the armor parts. As you can see, it's originally green and purple, like, uh, like you saw before. And now I'm airbrushing it a blue color. And I've started the shading just by going through and doing the little seam, uh, or not seam lines, but panel lines and corners with the darker blue you can't really see it real well in the in my camera here but I did that on all the armor pieces and I'm just doing this one leg right now with not the rest of the kit because I'm just kind of seeing how this goes uh, I've never tried doing this with one of these before so it's kind of a kind of a learning experience here so that's why I'm doing it just like this and I haven't even started the purple pieces yet but like I said, I'm going with a blue color. I'm not 100% sure the color I'm going to go with these purple ones. I thought about going orange just because, you know, it's like the complementary colors thing. I thought it would look good. But then again, I absolutely loved the green and purple on this. And those aren't complementary colors. So I thought maybe I could find something other than orange that would look real nice. Uh, a couple colors have gone through my head, but I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do yet. But I'll figure that out let you guys know about that and uh, yeah so this is just another part of my work in progress I'm probably gonna take several of these videos and just load them all into one and that way we don't have a bunch of two-minute videos and we'll just have one three-parter kind of deal so I'll get more work on this get the armor pieces done and I'll see you guys later and I have the leg completed one of the legs here it is. I, uh, as you saw in the last video, I was gonna go. I had blue on the parts already, but I, uh, I had the Tommy a dark blue painted around the seam lines and corners, and then I went over it with sky blue and uh, did shading on it. And I think that went pretty well. You can see the shading here in the video, so that's a good sign. And uh, as of last video, also I wasn't 100% sure what color I was gonna do for the vents, but I went with a dark yellow for that and I actually think it looks really good I wasn't a hundred percent sure how it would turn out so uh, and that's why I just did one leg of this whole model already instead of just going in with the whole thing because I was really just try kinda testing out how this will work but I really think this looks nice so here's a side-by-side -side comparison of what started out as right here and what it is now so, I think it looks pretty good, and I'm quite happy with it. So, now that this turned out well, I will be uh, going on and doing the rest of this guy, and I'll probably do a few less uh, work in progress -y kind of things, as I did with just this leg, because I went pretty detailed with this one just since it was the first step of the process, and uh, just covering everything. And doing the rest of this is going to be more of the same. So I'll check in every once in a while, but I'm not going to go through the level of detail as I did with this one. And uh, anybody just wanting a little more detailed look at this, uh, this here goes up and down on it, this little opening vent here. It's also got the yellow up top. 
Uh, got all those blue parts there. You can see the inner frame here, which I painted with the bolt gun metal and the copper, as well as the bottom, bottom of the foot, which I painted in the bolt gun metal. And I also have little spots of copper there on like what looks to be uh, bolts kind of things. And uh, yeah, you can see this little parts of the inner frame there. These little poly cap pieces, they started out with the purple as well here, and painted those yellow. So, yeah. Only downside to these is the inside of them is hollow, but you can't see that a whole lot on the finished model, so it shouldn't be too big of a deal. But I just wanted to stop in real quick and show you guys what I'd done on this, how it looked now that I got the whole thing, whole leg done, and let you guys know that I'm going to be starting in with more of this now. So I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.